first reading at Mass today, we have the famous story from the book of Genesis about the Tower of Babel. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I'm sure you remember the story from your childhood book of Bible stories. Some people decided to build a city and a tower that would reach into the sky, and in that way, make a name for themselves and find security. That's a human temptation, to find our security in something other than God, to place our trust in money or human power. And so, the story goes, God confused their language so that they could not understand one another. It wasn't because God was jealous of them, but because they were disobeying God's will for them. Earlier in Genesis, after God created humanity, he said, be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. And God repeated that same command to Noah after the flood. That isn't what the people building the Tower of Babel were doing. Instead of obeying God and scattering over the earth to fill it, they were hunkering down together for security. They were trying to make a name for themselves rather than relying on God's name. But God doesn't let his plans for humanity fall apart. Even when humanity disobeyed God's will time and again, multiplying sin upon sin, God didn't give up on his plan for humanity. He sent his own son to fulfill his plan and to give us the grace, the ability to follow God's will in our lives. Let's commit ourselves to that right now, asking that everything we think and do today may be according to God's will.